Welcome back to the Britannia Coin Company. We're a coin dealer based in Royal Wootton Bassett in the UK. In today's video, we're going through a bit of a hodgepodge of different coins which we've been buying at our shop because we regularly buy collections of coins in and we make these videos going through all the goodies that we've bought recently. These coins will filter onto our website and eBay shop. So if you spot something you like, do check the links in the description if you'd like to purchase any of them. But if you see something in this video that doesn't immediately appear on our website or eBay shop, then feel free to get in touch with us directly about making a purchase. So let's get started. So we've got a variety of things we're going to work through to start with. You'll have to bear with me because I am working at a little bit of a disadvantage today, but I'll do my best to show you the coins as best I can. But this is a brilliant uncirculated commemorative two pound coin from 1986, marking the Commonwealth Games which are held in Scotland. And then we have the coin. So I said that this is a brilliant uncirculated coin. So this is struck to a higher quality than the ones you'd find out in your change. This is an old two pound coin when they were a single metal rather than the bimetallic ones which we use today. So the Brilliant Uncirculated is a nicer version of the coin. It's a great entry point for coin collectors to start buying coins. Next up is another Brilliant Uncirculated coin. This is the D-Day Landings Brilliant Uncirculated 50p coin which we've got there. Uh, so this is a larger 50p, so they, they were a bit bigger than the ones we use in circulation to this day. Uh, they shrunk down to that size in 1997, so you shouldn't find any of these in your change, but there were lots that were minted for circulation way back when. So this will be an annual set of Brilliant Uncirculated Coins from 1990. And then we have the coins. So we've got the definitive designs, which remained on the coins for many, many years. And then to the center, we've got the crowned leak on the round pound coin. There was a whole bunch of interesting designs on the round pound pound coins over time but these come out each year although this year has been slightly different because we've had the commemoratives come out in their annual set but we've yet to see the definitives or non-commemorative coins and nobody seems to know when that's likely to come out. We've got another old two pound coin here this marked the tercentenary or 300th anniversary of the Bank of England. It's a lovely coin. So this is a coin cover so it's a half crown minted for Gibraltar. If we turn it over We've got the design on this side. So this is minted for the Queen's 90th birthday and the gump that comes with it identifies it as being a steel coin with 24 karat gold plating. So there we go. So we've got an interesting medal here. It's not a coin because it doesn't have a face value, but it uh, marks the 2009 Ashes series, which I am not a sports fan, but I believe is cricket. Staying with the theme of sports, this is uh, going to be a two pound coin to mark the centenary of the 1908 London Olympic Games. It's a lovely coin. Again, one you can find in circulation. It's a rather scarce coin, so uh, definitely a star find if you get your hands on one. But again, this one is struck to a higher quality than one you'd find out in your change. And this one is going to be a 2008 one pound coin, the old round pound coins, which obviously we no longer use, but that's the Royal Arms. It's a design that was minted in a couple of different years of this coin as well. So this is a token or medal cover. So you can see here, it's made of the Royal Mint. Uh, we've got the stamps, which have been canceled and the medal here. So this is a Battersea Dogs and Cats Home, the anniversary of that. And it's got quite a cool design on the other side here, that little dog. We've got a coin from Jersey here. Oh, it's one of these interestingly shaped pound coins. So uh, I always think the coins that aren't circular or circular style um, are kind of interesting, so you don't see them too often. We're gonna have a five pound crown in this set. And there we have it, the five pound coin that was minted to mark the Queen's 80th birthday. From royal birthdays to royal weddings, this coin was issued in 2011 uh, to mark the wedding of Prince William and Kate Middleton. And then we've got another coin and stamp cover. This is a five pound coin minted in the UK to mark the 65th anniversary of the Queen's reign. So this is a rather interesting coin. This is a nativity Christmas coin. Uh, it's a 2016 dated one and it's made of fine silver with a face value of 20 pounds. There was a whole range of these 20 pound fine silver coins and other denominations too, which are quite cool. And then this is another fine silver 20 pound coin. This was minted to mark the Queen's 90th birthday. And then here we have the same coin, but this is Cupro Nickel, so non-precious metal. It's a five pound coin, again marking the Queen's 90th birthday. And then the last coin from this handful is quite an exciting one. It's an old round pound coin, but you can see it's interesting packaging. So this is a coin that has been struck at the Royal Mint Experience. It was the first of the strike your own coins. Throughout the year, you can go down to the Royal Mint Experience, which is pictured here. And as part of the tour, if you pay a little bit extra, you can strike a coin. And whatever coin is available changes from time to time. So there's a whole range of them to collect. This was the first one that launched uh, the Royal Mint Experience's Strike Your Owns, and they proved to be very popular coins. So we've got a pile of silver proof coins to get through now starting with this one 
So it's a silver proof two pound coin. So a proof coin is another step up from brilliant uncirculators, the highest standard that the Royal Mint produces coins to. This is an old single metal two pound coin. So like that um, Commonwealth Games that we looked at earlier or the Bank of England Tercentenary, but because it's silver proof, it's in silver. And this is the piece dove. In our next little box, we got a one pound coin from 1995. It's my favorite of the one pound coin designs. It's the Red Dragon of Wales. And this is slightly special though because it's a Piaford coin. What I mean by Piaford is that it is double the thickness of a standard silver proof coin. Piaford coins tend to have a lower mintage than the standard silver proof mintages. So uh, you get a bit more silver and it tends to be a little bit scarcer, which uh, is what some people like to collect. The box alone should give away what this is going to be, 1977. So this was issued to mark the Queen's Silver Jubilee. Uh, there are silver and cupra nickel versions of this coin. The cupra nickel ones, the non-precious metal ones, there are absolutely tons of them. Uh, so it's a large crown size coin, but they're not a five pound coin though. Uh, they only became five pound coins in the 90s. Those issued since decimalization uh, up until the 90s when it was changed to be a five pound coin are 25p face value coins, a quarter of a pound. In this box, We've got one of my favorite five pound crowns. It was to mark the coronation anniversary and it's just such a lovely design with a unique portrait of the queen on the obverse there, sort of these stylized lines. And if we turn it over, we've got God save the queen and other wording and that sort of very cool lines stylized design, which uh, I think is very nice. Probably gonna have another PA Ford one pound coin in here. 1996, it is the Celtic Talk. Very cool. Another pound coin probably. It certainly is, 1994. This is the Lion Rampant. And the last one of these small red boxes, 2006. It is the Egyptian Arch Bridge. That's what I quite like about the old round pound coins. There's lots of different designs that feature elements from all the different parts of the UK. So Northern Ireland, Scotland, England, and Wales. We've got a slightly bigger box here. Ah, so this coin was minted to mark then Prince Charles's birthday in 2008. There's a few birthday coins and obviously now he's going to be a face much more familiar to us on our coins. Now that he is king, uh, all coins produced from now on will have his portrait on the obverse. But naturally, this was released before the death of Queen Elizabeth II, so it has his mother the Queen on the obverse. In this box... We've got a coin minted to mark another generation of royalty. So this was to mark the birth of Prince George, who is of course the child of Prince William, the Prince of Wales. Uh, so this was issued to mark his birthday. And it's got uh, Benedetto Pistrucci's lovely design, which uh, you'll see more regularly on the Sovereign. And then last from this handful is a box I've been very excited to get into it. Those who will recognize this will know exactly what's going to be in here. So if you open the inner box up, we have got four silver proof two pound coins. I do think two pound coins look lovely in silver proof. The gold plating on the outer parts of the coin really make the design pop. But these four were an interesting set of coins that were released into circulation. Uh, they do look very similar, but you've got to have a look in these little circles. You've got different flags, one for each part of the UK. Uh, so it was issued to celebrate the Commonwealth Games. Uh, they were put into circulation and they are among the rarest coins that you can find out in your change, specifically the North Northern Ireland one, which is uh, the rarest two pound coin currently. Uh, it's a lovely set. To see them in silver proof is absolutely glorious. So we've got another huge handful of coins to work through here, starting with this one, which is going to be a very exciting coin. So we have got the Britannia to the bottom there, which is pretty cool, but it's this coin here. It was minted to mark the UK's presidency of the Council of Ministers, um, which obviously is now the EU, but um, it was a dual dated coin. So you can see, it's, well, you might be able to see it says 1992-1993. Because the UK's presidency spanned across those two years, it is a coin that was minted in both years, which is pretty cool. This coin was also released into circulation and the mintage of that, so how many were put into circulation, was less than that of the Kew Gardens 50p, which most of us know is one of the rarest and most valuable coins you could find in circulation. But because it's a larger size 50p, they're no longer actively circulated, so you're probably not going to find one of those out in your change, which doesn't make them as exciting as the Kew Gardens 50p and hence they're not quite as valuable, but still a lovely coin to have in your collection. So we'll have a brilliant uncirculated five pound coin in this pack. It's to mark the 40th anniversary of the Queen's coronation. So there we have the obverse of the coin. And if we flip it over, we've got the reverse there. 
So this is a brilliant uncirculated annual coin set. It's from 1983, so there's always something to look carefully for on these 1983 sets. By 1983, all the coins should have their denomination. So it should say one pence, two pence, five pence. Prior to 1981, they all said new pence. What happened in 1983 though, is that some of the two pences were struck as new pence coins in error. So let's have a peek. So as you can see, this one does say two pence, which is exactly how this coin should be. It's not the new pence error, which is rather valuable and a lovely, lovely coin. But we've got the rest of the definitives, including the halfpenny too. Here's another annual set, 1990. I think we might have already had a look at one of these, but here's another one. We're gonna have another very lovely older rare coin in this set. If we open it up, we've got two two pound coins. So this is the bill and claim of rights, the tercentenary or 300th anniversary of that. This one here is the bill of rights. You can tell by the writing at the top. And this one is the claim of rights. Now the claim of rights, there's not many of those that were minted. So that is a real star find if you've got one of those. We seem to have an empty proof coin set here, but uh, it did come with a box. So let's have a look in the box. All right, so there we go, we've got the coins. Oh, wow. It's from the year 2009 as well. So we've got some lovely, lovely coins in here. Robert Burns and Charles Darwin on the two pound coins. King Henry VIII on the five pound coin. All the lovely definitives as well, but that is the Kew Gardens 50p, the rarest circulating 50p. Uh, very, very cool to see one of these. You have to be careful when you're purchasing these online though. There's lots of copies and fakes floating about, so you wanna make sure you've got the real deal, especially with the amount of money it costs to buy one of these. From that giant box to this tiny little box, we have got inside here, Oh, it's the 1973 UK's entrance into the EEC 50 pence. Very cool coin to have. We've got a little Triskelion on this box. This is probably from the Isle of Man. It certainly is. So this is the Queen Elizabeth Queen Mother One Crown. Is it 1980? Very nice. They do come in these weird yellowy plasticky cases. So it is a silver colored coin underneath there. I'm not too sure why they picked um, this plastic. I don't know whether that's just degraded over time and gone a bit yellow, but uh, it doesn't make the coin look as great as it does actually look in person. Got another one of these boxes. There we go, that looks much nicer. It's the Royal Wedding, 1981, so that's the uh, Prince Charles and Diana wedding crown, I guess. Another blue box. And we have a silver-proof 50 pence coin. Oh, that's the one we wanna see. So again, this is the silver-proof version of the Cooper nickel coin we saw early, marking the UK's presidency of the Council of Ministers. That is absolutely lovely to see. The red box here, what's in this one? Oh, okay, 2003 World Champions Commemorative Medal. Hmm, not quite sure. Oh, England rugby, oh, that's why I don't know it, because uh, although I'm not a massive fan of sports, rugby I know very little about, but looks like it's made by the Royal Mint, so as a sort of a medal. You can see their branding on the box and in the certificate there. Very cool. Got a little sleeve in here, which will have a coin inside. Let's see what coin that is. So it's a 2012 Guernsey coin, uh, 50 pence, 2012 coin issued to mark the Diamond Jubilee. Got a few more of these boxes which are all containing the uh, UK's entrance into the EEC 50 pence coin. Got a red box here. Inside that, an Isle of Man coin. You can see the Triskelion to the center. Uh, this is the Silver Jubilee Crown. Another little coin wallet here. Let's see what's inside this one. Uh, so it's the Queen's Diamond Jubilee again. We turn it over. Oh, it's the Royal British Legion. Uh, so is it a coin or a medal? I can't see a denomination. So yeah, no denomination or country of issuance, so that'll be a token or a medal. In this box, oh, very, very nice. So this is part of the Great Engravers series. So this is one half of the Gothic crown. There's the quartered arms and the Gothic portrait of Queen Victoria here. It's very, very cool. This is a two ounce silver proof version of the coin. What I really like about this coin, other than this design being absolutely stunning, if we turn it over, we have the fifth and final portrait of Queen Elizabeth II used on our coin. So we have our two longest reigning monarchs, two great queens on either side of this fantastic coin. So we're gonna have another modern silver proof coin in this box, if we open it up, it is a silver proof Paddington Bear 50 piece. This one is Paddington at St. Paul's Cathedral. There were four different Paddingtons that were released over two years in 2018 and 2019, put into circulation as well. But the uh, silver proof version's got a bit of color on it, which I think really adds to the coin. So then to wrap up, we've got one more handful of silver proof coins. So in this one, we've got the Trevithick Steam Locomotive Silver Proof two pound coin. And this one, 
Right, so again, one of the old single metal two pound coins. This is the tercentenary of the Bank of England again. A slightly smaller box for this one. It's an old round pound coin. This is the 2008 Royal Arms. Obviously, 2008 was when we changed to a new definitive style. We had the shield of the Royal Arms and the round pound from there onwards. Imagine this is going to be another two pound coin. It certainly is. So this is the Bill of Rights rather than the Claim of Rights, which have been lovely to have seen. And the next one, it's the wireless transmission, Marconi's transmission. Lots of these coins are ones you will find in circulation, but uh, where they've been battered and clinked around in pockets and wallets, uh, they're not in as pristine a condition. With so much detail in this coin, it is really cool to see. In this big blue box, we've got the Princess Diana five pound coin. This is the memorial coin. Little red box, PA foot one pound coin. It's the three lines of England. And then this box, uh, we've got the crowned thistles of Scotland on this pound coin. And the last of the pound coins, we've got the crowned oak tree of England. Our penultimate coin and probably last two pound coin, it is the DNA double helix. Again, it's got such a lovely intricate design. There's so much more you can get to see it on one of these silver proof coins. And the last coin for this collection is in this box. It's a silver proof five pound coin. This was minted to mark the 90th birthday of Prince Philip, a gentleman who's been on many of our coins in the past. So this is a lovely coin to wrap off on. I'd love to know in the comments what your favorite coins from this collection are. For me, it's probably those silver proof Commonwealth Games two pound coin set. They're such lovely, lovely coins. As I said though, check the links in the description to the coins already listed over on our website and feel free to get into touch with us if you spotted something you'd quite like that's not already on our website. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. It's free to do and it means you won't miss out on any of our future uploads like these collection hunts which we do on a weekly basis looking through some exciting coins. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram where we post lots of pictures of our coins. We're on Twitter and TikTok. We have our shop and online store and I'll see you next time for more amazing coins from the Britannia Coin Company. Okay.